My name is Jeff Kelly. I currently reside in Indianapolis, Indiana. I kind of play a lot of Americana style music as a solo artist and a full band artist with Jeff Kelly and the Graveyard Shift. You can find me at jeffkellylovesdogs.com or Spotify or Bandcamp or really anywhere that has music. Do you think about me still? Close your eyes, I'm sure you will. See me now as you need me to be. I'm the worst thing for you. I came into music late. I believe I was 23 when I first bought a guitar. And that came after seeing the Foo Fighters play actually in Indianapolis before I was living in Indianapolis. I saw them play. And uh, I saw Dave Grohl do an acoustic set halfway through the show. And I mean, that guy is a hit maker. Love him or hate him, he's a hit maker. And I happen to love him. And uh, just saw him play this beautiful, shiny black Gibson. And then I proceeded to see him smash it. Like maybe, it was maybe 20 feet in front of me. And it was the coolest thing I had ever seen. In retrospect, like those are pretty pricey guitars. And I don't know if I would do that on my own shows, but it was cool to see. So I saw that. The next day I was still in Indianapolis and I went out and bought my first guitar. I just felt like, hey, that was pretty cool. And let's get this going. So I bought um, an old Ibanez with strings that were probably half in it half inch off the fretboard and kind of played off and on for a couple months. I went and graduated college, put the guitar away, and then uh, during the recession moved out to Indianapolis and I didn't know anybody there. So I didn't have friends. I went on occasional dates and things like that, but there was a lot of downtime. So for the first several months I didn't have internet or anything, so I would go to the nearby Starbucks in Broad Ripple and open up a bunch of tabs on my laptop of just music and then I'd ride my bicycle home and keep those tabs open and just learn songs for the countless hours I was alone. So it kind of became my, my friend. So I played solid for a year, you know, just learning everything I could, being a sponge. I recorded these old demos of me just covering songs. I haven't listened to it in years, but I think there was always that drive, the fact that even in year one, you want to hear yourself play to, to improve. And so it was something I had to do. It wasn't just something I enjoyed doing. And then um, for about a year, I got away from it. And just kind of that old story of somebody putting a guitar under the bed. I put my guitar under the bed for about a year. And then uh, my girlfriend at the time kicked it and said, what is this? I was like, oh, that's a guitar. And she said, you should play more. And uh, I did, I strummed it a little bit, and then I saw a Tiny Desk concert. I uh, found it on YouTube, and I was just searching stuff, and saw a woman named Anais Mitchell, and she played three songs, and it just changed everything. I kind of, I did not come from a musical family. There were never, except for a Barbara Streisand Christmas record that played once a year during Christmas. We really didn't have music in the house, so I didn't have too many people I drew from and all of a sudden I see this woman who has to use the phrase again love it or hate it and she had a voice that you either love or hate and I loved it she just wrote the most beautiful lyrics she played these three songs and the first one was called Shepherd and Shepherd is about um, a shepherd in the fields a modern day shepherd and there's a rainstorm coming and he has to get all the hay baled before it rains but meanwhile his wife is inside the farmhouse and she's ready to have a baby and she says, no, no, get, uh, get your chores done and then we'll go to the hospital. And uh, long story short, uh, before it's all done, the rain comes, the hay gets wet, and he comes inside and she, she's dead, uh, as is the baby. So kind of, a, kind of a crazy story, but it was such a, a beautiful literary song that started me writing songs. I, kind of, I realized that you could write very literally but very poetically. a boy many years ago I lived in a home 
broken by a ghost the Walls were screaming Creaking doors That set me on the path to writing my own songs. I realized they didn't have to be cool, they didn't have to... They just had to mean something to you. And that's That was the start of the path, probably about 2010. And then from there, I really haven't stopped. You grab your shirt from off the dresser It was embroidered with your name And the last words that we said simply didn't mean a thing Close your eyes, you'll see the girl that get away your eyes, I will be the man you need a man to be. In the hardest part of waking up, the saddest part of us, the hardest part of waking up is it doesn't mean a thing. In the near future, I'm going to be doing a small studio session with WFYI going to be from, filmed from home. I imagine that might come out in November. Just depends when we get around to, to actually recording it. The plan is to do that one with Charlie Valentine and Mina Cohen, so that'll be really fun. And then outside of town, I'll be doing a tour with Jenna in our little duo called Jeff and Jenna, and we'll be performing a series of shows across the country in Illinois, Nebraska, Colorado, California, New Mexico and Missouri before coming back home and seeing where life takes us. You woke up next to a stranger with your ordinary life, both too young to die and too old to feel right. She was a victim of oppression. In your mind, put it for a